Hello and welcome back to the Carbon Caters cooking channel. Today we have vegetarian egg rolls. As always, we have a photo over here and the ingredients are listed down below. All right, I'm going to start off by patting my extra firm tofu over here. This is already roasted and I'm just going to tear these pieces off. As you can see, this is super firm. It doesn't fall off like normal tofu does. And I'm adding this just so I can have some texture, you know, bump up that protein just because, you know, we like hitting the gym. And obviously this isn't a protein based recipe, but if you guys wanted to, you guys can add, uh, you know, ground pork or ground beef at this point. Moving forward, we have our vermicelli glass noodles. Vermicelli just means that they're super thin. And you just gotta soak these in some boiling hot water for a bit. And I also have some dried shiitake mushrooms. I like them dried just because I don't eat mushrooms on the bailey. So this is, you know, a good way to store them and still have mushrooms. All right, and while those are steeping or soaking, we like to call it, we're gonna start making our sauce. I'm gonna start off by adding garlic cloves to a bilong or a, what do you call these, mortars with some salt, a little bit of MSG, and I'm just gonna mash these down, followed by my dried chilies, my Thai chilies. Those over there were previously frozen just because they come in a huge bag that I don't use that much of, but I just chopped them up to make them uh, smaller so that this process is easier. While we're macerating them inside this bilong, what's happening is that all those oils are getting out and we're getting a nice garlicky, spicy, slowly, uh, slightly acidic sauce going. Now this is totally optional guys, if you guys don't like this, you guys can buy some like Thai chili sauce which is on the sweeter side, it's kind of like a duck sauce you can think of, or you know, maybe just go straight, you don't need no sauce with that, it's good enough. Right, so we added a little bit of liquid aminos to this as well as the lime juice and a little bit of liquid aminos just for some fluidity and flavor. We're also, you see I'm stirring it right there. I'm also gonna add some cilantro and some scallions that are thinly sliced just for a nice floral, citrusy, herbaceous goodness. Right, now that our sauce is marinating these have steeped long enough so we're going to remove our glass noodles from the water and we're just going to season them again with some of our fish sauce some of our liquid aminos and you know some salt and pepper just because i believe in seasoning everything in different parts you still want to be careful with this don't over season your food just season each part individually then we can all put it together and make it nice and cohesive these I'm going to remove from the water, make sure that they're nice and pliable so I can slice them up real thin. And I'm going to reserve this water just because there's a lot of umami that these shiitake mushrooms have released. I'm going to add the remainder of my liquid aminos and my fish sauce along with some salt and pepper. And again, that MSG. If you guys don't like MSG, don't use it. No worries. All right, and off to the fun part. I don't have a wok, but I'm going to use the saute pan. We're going to add some canola oil and I'm going to drop my ginger, garlic, and my jalapeno. That's the chili that I use. Feel free to use whatever chili you like depending on the heat level that you enjoy. So we're just going to add those there. Allow that oil to get nice and flavored. Followed by our carrots and our celery. Then followed by our... What am I adding? Hmm. Sorry, look, I skipped the mushrooms. You want to add that first. Again, that has umami, and also they're still a little dry on my end. They weren't as pliable as I'd like. Then we're going to add our celery and carrots, followed by our cabbage. We don't want to cook this too much. We just want to make them soft enough and release a little bit of the moisture that they have so that they are not don't have too much of a bite. You know what I mean. We just want to cook them slightly, give them a nice saute, and allow those flav flavors to develop. Thank you. 
after we give those a quick toss toss and season we want to reserve those in a bowl to the side and then we're going to start off with our tofu All right, and what we're gonna do is that pan, in that same pan, don't lose it, don't wash it, don't do nothing, that has flavor in there. We're just gonna add a little bit more oil and add our tofu to this. Now tofu, you know, you don't really have to cook this this long. It's already ready to eat anyways, it's roasted. Uh, what we're gonna do is finish seasoning it off. Like I said, season every aspect of your dish. Make sure that you don't overdo it either. Gonna finish seasoning this up, letting it allow to get a little bit of color and just crumbling up those really large pieces. And then we're gonna add the remainder of our sauce mix and toss that in with our veggies. And over here, just because I almost forgot, I'd let you know, drop in your noodles. These are pretty long, so you want to make sure that you chop them in, and that's why I did it right there so you guys can see it. We're going to add the remainder of our noodles as well, and then get that all tossed up. Right, and once your mixture has slightly cooled because you obviously don't want this to burn right through your dough you want to put your dough in a diamond shape yep that's the shape we're looking for in a diamond shape and act as if you're rolling a burrito put the majority of your mixture towards the end flip one triangle over it begin to roll then put your two corners in continue to roll hit that with the egg mix and then just finish sealing them off i showed you twice over here but if you got any questions let me know we'll slow this down next time All right, for the frying process, you guys want to make sure that you have a nice neutral oil with a high smoke point. High smoke point just means that at 400 degrees is when you're most likely going to see that smoke and it doesn't burn or be become acidic right away. I don't know how many degrees this is because I'm here cooking at home. I don't have my gauge, but I'd say it's about 325 degrees and you want to leave that in there for about three minutes just until you get them nice and golden brown on the outside. Remember that your filling is totally cooked already, so you have no worries here nice and golden brown put them on a drip tray make sure that they're able to release all that extra oil and there you have it nice and delicious and just a quick side note on frying make sure you guys do allow it to have time to bounce back meaning every time you add a batch of your whatever you're frying in this case our egg rolls we want to make sure that the oil has time to come back to its proper temperature so that it fries all right guys and there you have it some vegetarian egg rolls now i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you guys have any questions concerns or compliments you can drop a comment down below or interact with me and see more on my instagram bye